Welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween. Today I'm going to be showing you this quick and easy Halloween pop art look. So if you're interested in seeing how I created it, then keep on watching. So for this look, we're gonna do a very, very simple eye look. I'm just gonna start carving out my crease with like a light brown and then putting a little bit of smoke in the corner, pop some eyeliner on and then the fun starts on our face. So to start with our eyes, I'm using Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. And I'm just gonna go in with a blending brush and pick up this light brown color and face, and just a light, light, light carving out my crease. You can see it's like barely any product, but it's just giving my eye that definition right there. Now I'm just gonna go in and just smoke out this area just a little bit so it blends in with the liner. And I'm just gonna take this blackout color mixed with the dark purple and lethal. And I'm really gonna tap off the excess because I already put my complexion on as a base. So I don't want too much fallout. So I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Liquid Liner. We are gonna apply lashes for this look later on. So it's gonna be good that I start lining my lower lash, I mean my upper lash line right here. We're gonna line this lash line. That way when we put the lashes on, there's not like a naked space of our eyelid and it's gonna blend. So we're just gonna get as close as we can. I kind of raise my eyebrows. And it also makes the base of your lashes a lot thicker. And always starting with your base first makes your wings so, so much easier. I know wings can be tricky, especially making both sides even. So as you can see, mine's not even, but that's fine because when, when I come across with my wing, it's going to make it even. So I'm going to just line the other side. So now we can start on our wing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this part of my eye. My lower lash line starts here, my upper lash line starts here, and I'm going to kind of go in the middle and just bring this out like that and then bring it back in. Just like a simple wing. It's not gonna be too, too dramatic, but enough to where it, you can see it in this look. So like I said, I'm gonna start here. I even make a dot so I know where I'm gonna begin and then I'm gonna bring this out. And then we can start having some crazy fun with our face. So because it's a pop art look, it's very comic book-like and when comic book characters they have like these expressive facial expressions where they're kind of like like doing some weird things. So I'm going to make my eyebrow look like I'm frowning. So I'm just going to first outline the eyebrow I already have with this eyeliner. So just like we would fill in our brows, I'm literally going to line it. Like, oh my gosh. Can you imagine if I did my eyebrows like this every single day? It's going to be like a block. Just like that. And I'm going to fill it in. Okay, so now we're gonna do our other eyebrow. So this one I had messed up on a little bit and made this line up here. So we're gonna make this our frowning eyebrow. It's like that. You can kind of like make a frown and see like, okay. So then I'm gonna make a little tiny one, kind of like a half shaped moon in front of it. So it looks crazy right now, but I promise you when we're done with this look, it's gonna look amazing. So how I brought this brow down here the reason I did that is because there's gonna be a line kind of carving out my nose, so these can almost meet. Just how we would contour, just like that. And then I'm gonna carve out the sides of my nose. So it's just like how we would contour. And the other side, but we're not gonna bring it all the way up to the brow. Because I already did my complexion, I already contoured. So you can see it's right here. We're gonna take this and just make a contour line. Just like that. And we can make it darker. And then just on the other side too. Ooh, it's coming out pretty nice actually. And now I'm gonna have something on this eye. It's gonna be kind of like a teardrop, but almost look like a rain cloud. Let's hope we don't mess this up. And just take your time because... Okay, so we just went ahead and did this a little bit off camera. I made like a rain cloud with a little like raindrop underneath. And we're gonna fill this in with primer and like blue eyeshadow to make it pop. So I'm gonna take some Urban Decay primer and I'm actually gonna use the applicator because it's pretty thin and I can just get in there. And this primer is pretty translucent so we don't have to worry about there being like white. Okay, so now that we're pretty primed, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix a few colors. So you're just gonna take like any teal eyeshadow that you have lying around. And you're gonna get a brush that's flat and detailed like this. This actually came in my Urban Decay Naked palette. And I'm gonna get a generous amount of products. Top off any excess as usual. 
and just start dabbing this in the middle. And the reason why we're using this detail brush is so we can use it just like this onto the skin. And like I said, this look is just something if you don't have a costume, you're, it's, it's cost friendly. I'm using makeup just in, literally in my makeup bag. I did not have to go to the Halloween store. So it can be done in like 20 minutes. You can like rush to a Halloween party. And I made sure I used, I picked like a teal with sparkles just cause I kind of want some sparkles in this look. But it's totally your preference. If you don't want to use sparkles, you can just use a matte color. And I'm gonna take a color on top that's gonna just amp it up a little bit. You can see it's already changing the look. Like it's kind of looking funky in the beginning, but now it looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna use this Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. You can see each shade is like completely, it's all glitter. And I'm gonna use this color here and lighter, and then I might add Vega on top. So it's kind of the same color, but just more sparkles. It's more dramatic. I love that. And then we can just go back in with our liner just a little bit to kind of clean up what we went over. Oh my gosh, I look crazy. What is happening? So next we're gonna do some lips. We're gonna literally use this liner as lip liner. It's gonna feel really crazy, but I promise you, it's gonna work in the end, I promise. Okay, so actually before we do our lip, just like when we contour, we're gonna define this. So we're just gonna follow our jawline. I wanna look like you're wearing a mask, like someone took you out of a comic book and just put it on your face. So that's why we're like making these defined. So it doesn't really just look like our features. It looks very comic-like. And then I'm gonna start on my lips. So I'm just gonna line my bottom lips just like I would do any regular lip liner. And then we're gonna do the same on the top. Just follow your natural lip line. So then we're gonna take just a red lipstick. I'm using Bare Minerals and VIP and it's a liquid matte. So don't apply this until you're absolutely ready because it's gonna dry. But I'm ready, I lined it. We're just gonna color in the lines again, just like we're young. I love the Bare Minerals liquid lips because they're like really comfortable even though they're matte. I don't feel like my lips are gonna flake and be dry. And I'm gonna do two layers. If you're going to a Halloween party, you're probably gonna be eating candy, eating some food, some snacks, maybe pizza, popcorn, and you need this to stay on. So even though it's liquid, it is gonna stay on, but just to be safe, we're gonna do two layers. So we're gonna let this dry. Okay, so now that we're satisfied with that, we're just gonna work on our face a little bit while that is completely, completely drying, and then we're gonna go in with this white liner and have some more fun. So we're just gonna go in with our black liner and we're gonna touch up everything we did. I just want it to pop. Okay, so I'm gonna take this white liner and this is from Tarte. I even think it's called Marker, what is it? Oh, the Pure White Liquid Art Eyeliner. So you can see it's like really like art. And we're gonna line our waterline here. So it's gonna make this blue really stand out and then this eye really stand out. Okay, so as you can see, I just put some white eyeliner in my lower lash line and in my waterline and it's just gonna make my eyes pop. And then our final, final, final touch is just to take this liner and just kind of do some detailed lines on our lips. But I do want this look to look like the same when your mouth is closed, like this. We're gonna make a little bit of a black line. Take my Tarte liner again, give it a really good shake, and then just a line. So you're gonna line with your mouth closed. So it looks like it, someone drew lips on, even with my mouth is closed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop some lashes on, put a little mascara and put my wig on so I can really, really have this complete look for you guys. So I will be right back. Let me go do that and then I'll be back to show you the final look. And I'm back. All I did was pop on this wig, change into this white dress. Obviously we didn't wanna spill makeup on it earlier. And I'm just gonna put these pearls on so we can look nice and classy. And then this look is done. It's so easy. I had just like a colorful wig lying around, had some like dress up pearls lying around, and that's it. Had this white dress already, had all this makeup, the eyeliner, the eyeshadow. That was really all we needed. And just your favorite lashes. I'm using my favorites from Tarte. They're called Girl Boss. Just making sure that they're down. And then this look is done and you're ready to go. And everything was in your makeup bag. It's so, so easy. It should not take you more than 20 minutes, I promise. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe down below, give me a thumbs up, and then stay tuned for my next Halloween video, okay? Bye guys!